I started out with a chunk of scrap pine that I had sitting in my burn barrel. I then cut two pieces four and a half inches by six and a half inches. At the bandsaw I set up my fence to do a resaw cut half the thickness of the material. These pieces were a little bit too small to run through my surface planer, so I just headed over to the belt sander to get rid of some of the saw marks. Overall thickness of the material wasn't super critical. So you should end up with four pieces approximately 3 8 inch thick, four and a half inches by six and a half inches. I then drew a small curve on the bottom of the pieces. Note that the curve is not centered on the width of the material. The curve ends at one of the corners and is approximately 3 8 of an inch in from the other edge. This will help later with glue up. I then could take all four pieces at once to the bandsaw and cut out the curve. I then smoothed it out over at the oscillating spindle sander. If you don't have one of these, a drum inside of a hand drill or a drill press works just as good or you can sand it by hand. I then stacked all four pieces and drew a line from the edge 3 8 of an inch in. The paper template then gets centered between the far right edge and the line. If this is a project you want to make, I'll have a free template at nickferry.com. You can then use either spray adhesive, or in my case I just use masking tape to tape down the template. I also use the masking tape to make sure that the pieces are taped together. You can then go to the drill press and drill out all the holes. The larger holes, I believe I used a quarter inch bit, and I'm not sure on the other sizes. Sizes of the drill bit aren't that critical. Then I took a countersink bit in my hand drill and cleaned up the edges of the holes. You can use masking tape as a hinge to keep your pieces aligned during glue up. I then spread out all the glue with an acid brush and then fit all the pieces together with a piece of masking tape. A couple of the sides weren't matching up as well as I'd like them to, so I threw on some additional clamps. Once the glue had dried, I could remove the clamps. I then took the piece over to the belt sander to smooth out some of the joints and make them less visible. To support the electronic candle, I just took a couple little pieces of scrap and glued them into place. I used two tops to spray paint cans as a spacer. I applied a wood screw clamp just to keep everything in place. The pine looked a little too light for my liking, so I applied a little bit of stain. I then clear coated it with a few coats of shellac. Using the electronic tea lights is nice because you don't have to worry about an open flame.
And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.